Uh, my name is Chelsea Pruitt, and I have been regularly attending Northside since 2012. I got married really young, and things were going bad in my marriage. And my uh, aunt kept encouraging me to come to Northside and seek marriage counseling, and I, so I did. And that's how I started coming to Northside. I went to Northside knowing that uh, my life was broken and it wasn't the way it should be. Um, so I started going there regularly and things uh, started to find more of a purpose. They've really been there for me through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the ladies in my ladies' Bible study group, um, I would pray with them all the time, asking them, you know, my marriage is broken and I can't fix it and I keep trying and trying and trying. Well, eventually he left. And when he left, I was absolutely just broken. I didn't even want to live anymore. But I had three daughters, so I had two. And um, I was working in the children's ministry and uh, I was uh, working in La Blali with the little babies and stuff. And even though things were really, really ugly at home, I made sure that every Sunday I was there for all three services, you know, to love on those kids because even though things were ugly at my house, like there were other people that, that needed love. I know that if I didn't put myself um, into the ministry and really work at it, that I probably wouldn't be where I am today. For someone who's struggling about giving their time, because it is a commitment to uh, give every Sunday, and you know, before I was doing two services, because I know that we need people. Um, for someone who is uh, hesitant about giving their time, just do it. Because um, there were days that I did not want to go in, uh, there were times going through my divorce, I just wanted to cry and not do anything, not even make the kids dinner, but um, I had to. They have to eat. Um, and those kids, they need to be ministered to. They need to find Jesus' love because I started my journey when I was in my early 20s, so I didn't grow up with God in church. And so I think it's very important that uh, you just give to them because when you're giving to them, those kids will surprise you with the things that they say because Jesus wants us to love like a child. You look at God from a child's perspective and He is so big and wonderful and glorious and then we get older and we forget about that. Um, so I, just do it. Do the, I, there's no other way to just do it. I'm now married. I have a wonderful husband. Um, but for the first time in my life, we put our mortgage payment on auto draft. And on my kids, we are not on food stamps. We are not on Medicaid anymore. And we um, have insurance, dental, vision, health. We have it all and I don't have to worry about it. Through my generosity, I know that God blessed us with all of that, because without Him, I wouldn't have any of that. Because just this last year, um, you know, December 27th, two days after Christmas, my car was repossessed. But this year, I have my uh, brand new house, and it's literally twice the size of the house I used to live in. So my kids have plenty of space to run in, and they're doing so much better after so much ugliness. I want to be the woman that a child can look up to and say, wow, she's tough. She's done a lot. You know, I have three daughters, um, and that really keeps me going every day. So I just really want to be generous so um, other people can see that there's still good out there, even when things are really ugly.